I think I need a haircut. I'm starting to look like a Hanson brother from the 90s. Hey everybody, it's Premier Gal here. Today we are going to learn how to make a live text template and use it in Premiere Pro. So what is a live text template? It's essentially a motion graphic text uh, template that you make inside of After Effects and you can edit the text inside of Premiere Pro. Now, why is this useful? Well, many times you'll make lower thirds or text titles inside of After Effects, and let's say there's a typo or you need to make an edit, you have to keep going back into After Effects to make that edit and re-export it. But with live text templates, you don't have to do that. So let me show you how to do it. Here inside of After Effects, I have this lower third graphic that I made um, for somebody's name and title. And you can actually download this uh, little lower third template in the description box below so you can follow along. It's free for you to use. So how do I get this into Premiere Pro? So what you have to do is make sure that inside of your project panel, you have selected the composition, right? So this is the composition. It's called Gao Lower Third. So select that. And then you're going to go up to File, Export, Composition as Text Template. And what this is going to do is prompt you with a save as a dialog box and you're going to save it as whatever you like. Let's just call it gal lower third, save. And so then if we go back into Premiere Pro, um, this is where I'm going to add a lower third on Cheryl here, Cheryl Ottenritter. I just did an interview with her um, at Ott House Audio which will be coming out shortly. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to File, Import, and you're going to go to, it's already opened here, you're going to find the, the project folder that you exported that as. Now, the composition template, you'll notice that this is the actual project file, .aep, which is After Effects Project. The template is called AECAP, which is After Effects Capsule Template which is a capsule that holds all the assets to edit the text inside of Premiere Pro. So you're going to select that, import that, and then it will just take a second here. It's using the dynamic link server to import this composition. So then you're going to select it and hit OK. So then what you're going to do is grab this AE cap file on, and drag it on top of the footage. You can select it. And under Effects Controls, you can um, change the scale if you want to make it a little bit smaller and move the position to where you want it to be um, within your frame. So that looks about right. So then what you do, so how do you edit the text, right? So what you're going to do is go to the left here under Master, and you'll be able to edit the text. So I'm just going to change this to Cheryl Ottenritter, okay? And change her title. I'm just going to change it to Ott House Audio. And you'll see that it's automatically updated here already. So you'll notice also that there's two duplicates here. That's because it's pulling in all the text that's in that composition. And when I created this uh, little lower third here, you'll notice that I have the, the text here twice. That's because masks were used. So just ignore that. You know, there's going to be duplicate text. It's going to literally pull in all the text to edit but you don't need to worry about that because you just need to edit the first set here, okay? And you can duplicate this and use it as many times as you want in Premiere Pro by hitting Option, click and drag, and now I have a duplicate copy. And if I select that and go under Master, I can change this to anything else again and use this lower third multiple times throughout this project. So I hope that you guys found this useful. That's all you have to do to use live text templates. It's very easy to use. If you want to learn something else, be sure to make a tutorial request on my website. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.